एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट Ecosystem is formed by biotic and abiotic factors and their interactions with each other. Each factor plays a very important role in the ecosystem. Producers like plants are important. Herbivores like deer, goats, sheep, cattle, horses, camels, etc. feeding upon producers are also important. Predators like lion and tiger which prevent the overpopulation of herbivores are also equally important. A question may arise in your mind that whether the caterpillars found in the nature insects present in the dung are really useful. However, these organisms are also important though they are dirty. They are responsible for cleaning the environment. it means that our existence is due to these factors present around us environment and ecosystem relationship between environment and ecosystem environment is a broad concept physical chemical and biological factors affecting the living organisms in any possible way is collectively called as environment in short environment is the condition in surrounding It includes many biotic, abiotic, natural and artificial factors. There are two main types of environment. One is natural environment and other is artificial environment. Natural environment consists of air, atmosphere, water, land, living organisms etc. Artificial environment is also affecting the natural environment directly or indirectly. Environment consists of two basic factors biotic factors and abiotic factors the science that deals with the study of interactions between biotic and abiotic factors of the environment is called as ecology basic functional unit used to study the ecology is called as ecosystem environment consists of many ecosystem a pond is a small ecosystem whereas the earth is the largest ecosystem in brief biotic and abiotic factors occupying a definite geographical area and their interactions collectively constitute the ecosystem environment conservation at present many environmental problems have been arisen due to effect of various natural and artificial factors on earth Environmental pollution is one of those main factors. Generally, contamination of any material in its pollution, unnecessary and unacceptable change in the surrounding environment due to natural events or human activities is called as environmental pollution. That is direct or indirect changes in physical, chemical and biological properties of air water and soil which will be harmful to human and other living beings in environmental pollution various reasons like population explosion fast industrialization and indiscriminate use of natural resources deforestation and unplanned urbanization are responsible for environmental pollution pollution is a broad concept Various types of pollution like that of air, water, sound, soil, thermal, light pollution occurs around us. Ultimate adverse effect of all these is on existence of all the living organisms and out of this, environmental conservation has become the need of the hour. Need of environmental conservation. General public is not aware about the rules of environmental conservation. there should be a large scale participation of the people in environment conservation this will help to make the future generations more aware about environmental conservation and protection so as to achieve this it is necessary to increase the awareness through education today all the developed developing and underdeveloped countries have accepted the responsibility of environmental protection 
their efforts in that direction have defined the future plans about environmental protection and have constituted the necessary laws environmental conservation is our social responsibility since existence of human there is interrelationship between human and environment human stepped on the earth long after the formation of earth on the earth human being proved its superiority and compared to other animals with the help of characters like intelligence memory imaginary ability etc human established domination over the nature human utilized all the natural resources as much as possible in an attempt to live a satisfactory life human kept on snatching from the nature as much as possible and this led to increasing problems from this entire scenario we can understand that human has crucial role in maintaining the environmental balance if human has disturbed the environmental balance then human itself only can conserve and improve the quality of nature many times general public is unknown that its activities are harmful to environment and thereby unknowingly many activities happen thank you for watching the academic squad